On July 7, 1948, veteran Negro League pitcher Satchel Paige is signed by the Cleveland Indians, a move that stuns the baseball world. Ridiculed by some as a Bill Veck publicity stunt, the move is seen by J.G. Taylor Spink of the Sporting News as demeaning the standards of baseball in the big circuits. The 42-year-old Page would answer the critics in his first game the next day, getting a relief decision in an 8-6 win over New York. He would finish the season at 6-1. Page is the oldest player to debut in the majors and would play in his last major league game in 1965 in a special appearance with the Kansas City Athletics. He pitched three innings that day at the age of 59. On July 7, 1964, Johnny Callison's ninth inning three-run home run off the monster Dick Raditz caps a four-run rally and gives the National League a 7-4 win in an all-star game at Shea Stadium. This would even the series at 17. In his Baseball Hall of Fame induction speech in 1966, Ted Williams made a strong plea for inclusion of Negro League stars in the hall. After the publication of Robert Peterson's landmark book, Only the Ball Was White, in 1970, the Hall of Fame found itself under renewed pressure to find a way to honor Negro League players who would have been in the Hall had they not been barred from the Major Leagues due to the color of their skin. On July 7, 1971, Commissioner Bowie Kuhn announces that players from the Negro Leagues elected to the Hall of Fame will be given full membership to the museum. It had previously been announced that they would be honored in a separate wing. Satchel Page was the first Negro League player inducted in 1971. In total, there are 35 players and executives who have been elected to the Hall of Fame from the Negro Leagues. On July 7, 2005, the sports of baseball and softball are dropped from the 2012 Olympic Games scheduled to take place in London. It is the first time in 69 years that events have been cut from the Games. There is criticism that these events are American-dominated, despite the fact that Cuba won gold in 2004 and Australia won silver. Japan and South Korea had also appeared in the silver medal game in the past. Another reason given is that the top professional players do not always appear, though Nippon Pro Baseball, the Korea Baseball Organization, and the Cuban National League had routinely sent their top stars. That was July 7th, This Day in Baseball.